is the house of the Lord. This house was a glorious building with a dome on top and a cross on top of the dome. And then, ah, the, 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 there was the house, the roof, yes, the cross. And then the glory on top, touching only the cross. And he was wondering, why is the glory not touching the roof? And then, as they approached the house, the Lord said, enter into the house of the Lord. The door, the, the double arched door opened, and then auto opened automatically, and they entered. And then, as, as they entered, he said, he, I think he said he turned right, and then the, immediately the voice of the Lord began to come from the altar, from the altar side. And then, when he looked around, was an endless sea of seats, but there were black seats, and there was grass. And immediately, before that, the Lord said to him, they used to worship here. Yes. They, all the seats were empty. He says, they used to worship here, but they, now they are no more. And then the grass began to grow, and then it grew so fast, it overgrew the height of the chest. It grew so fast, it began to cover the chest. And so that's the message the Lord sent him to restore the church. Because the house of the Lord, the glory is not even touching the roof. It's just touching the cross. <clears throat> the chairs are black. And grass is growing. There goes the calling now. So now you see the vision he shows the servant of the Lord. And you look at Sardis. And he says, there it is now. The house of the Lord, even today. Sardis. This church needs to repent. Amen. The church of Christ needs to repent. There is wrong doctrine. There is uh, this wind. Yeah? Wrong doctrine. Wrong. Gospel of prosperity and all these things. Many scares in the church. And all these things that are not supposed to be there. Because the church is supposed to be heavenly. Amen. But we'll talk more later. On this revelation. On this revelation and revelation. <laughs> Father, we thank you. We bless you. Father, help us to walk on this way. This high way of holiness. You promise, Lord, that, they, that the fools will not work on it. The unclean will not journey on it. The devourer will not be on it. It shall be for those who walk on it. The redeemed, indeed, you have called us. The redeemed church to walk in purity, in perfecting holiness. Father, help us to walk in this calling of holiness. To rejoice in holiness. To delight in your holiness. Father, to be, to radiate your holiness to, the, to this dark world. That the light of Christ may shine brightly through us. That we may bear fruit unto the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That we may evangelize Jesus. That we may evangelize the blood and the cross. <clears throat> that we may evangelize the sal salvation that is found only in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.